For Liliana Gallegos, she started yesterday morning the same way she I guess always I'll does, taking her kids to school. So yesterday around 7, 10, 7, 15, I usually drop off my five-year-old um, at the bus, um, bus stop. At around 7.30, I sent uh, my daughter's teacher a message telling her that I had sent some school snacks. Um, it was her day to take school snacks for the class. Now the text she got back from her teacher took her by surprise. She sent me a message saying, did the bus come or are you bringing her? And after that message, she got a shocking call. I received a phone call that from school transportation that my daughter was found in the bus um, screaming and yelling for help. Gallego says her daughter was left on the bus forgotten for nearly an hour after the driver dropped all the students off at school and returned the bus back to ECISD's bus barn or bus transportation office. She did say that she woke up and she noticed that nobody was there. I asked her, what, what did you do next? She said, I started crying for you. And I started looking out the window, yelling for help. She says her daughter was found by a worker at the bus barn. She heard what she thought was cats fighting. And then she started to look around and that it was my daughter. And now the family wants to know how their daughter was left on the bus. The driver or the assistant to the driver could have walked down that aisle and checked every seat. And she says she's okay, but a five-year-old does not see how bad it could have been. I thank God that my daughter is okay, but it's something that I'm never going to be able to forget. Yeah, and we reached out to the Ector County School District. They confirmed that the little girl was left on the bus yesterday morning. They called it unacceptable, and the district also tells us they have taken there are several steps that are in place to make sure that this doesn't happen. We're told some employees have been put on leave while the district continues to investigate. Crystal.